Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And today we're going to be looking at making a replacement cape for a vintage Star Wars Return of the Jedi prune face figure. Now this is a figure that uh, when I was growing up I had no idea actually what he was to do with Star Wars. I always thought he was part of uh, Jabba's palace but uh, as I grew up and sort of learnt more about Star Wars characters and Star Wars figures it turns out he is part of the Rebel Alliance and uh, a part of the attack on Endor. Uh, and as you can see he's a fairly interesting figure but he should come with this fabric cape and uh, without it he looks a little bit plain he's a nice figure but with the cape he just looks that little bit sort of uh, cooler and a little bit more interesting so what we're going to do today is uh, make a cape for him because uh, this is a fairly simple cape and shouldn't be too much uh, sort of hassle to sort of work out a pattern and get something made so let's get straight on with it the first thing we need to do is actually make a pattern and on a cape like this where it's made out of only one piece of fabric it's actually fairly straightforward to do you can see that it's just got a bit of sewing down the front and then a little bit over the top of the hood and Sort of down the back so what we have to do is just turn this inside out and once you turn it inside out you'll start to see how it is constructed a lot to sort of more clearly so you can see there we've got a very basic shape a little bit of sewing here and then a bit of sewing as i say around the hood and so what i do is i take this into photoshop i'll just scan it in on my flatbed scanner and from that i can make a pattern because you can see that it's just the same piece folded over and the fold is down the back so uh, let's do that bit of photoshop and we'll end up with a nice pattern that we can use to make a new cape from. In only a few minutes I was able to make this and as you can see that is that cape flattened out we can see that clearly the shape of it so if I show you the original here on top you can see the shape of it goes all the way down the back there's a cut down the middle of the back you can just see that there and that's where we sew the sewing actually goes much further than the cut uh, so I've added just some little dotted lines to give you an idea of where those need to go and then we have to sew this bit here so that is the pattern to make prune faces cape now we just need some fabric now I've shown you before on uh, sort of my restorations the sort of fabric I use and there is a fabric that is a sort of looped fleece fabric that you can buy and I've got a couple of colours of it here this is a sort of fawny brown shall we say not quite the right shade then I have this one which is slightly more flesh toned again not quite the right shade I've actually not been able to find an exact match for this one this is 
just got that little bit extra tan to it but it, you know sometimes when making capes you go for something that is as close as you can get you could make this out of felt but this sort of uh, looped fleece or toy knit as it is sometimes called is exactly the same sort of material so I'm going to go for this even though the color is wrong I will put a link in the description as to where I source this from it comes all the way from China and I've bought loads and loads of colors over the years because uh, it's uh, very useful to have for making all sorts of things and that's what we're going to use so let's uh, get the patterns ready we'll stick it onto some of this and I'm going to make two versions of the cape one in this darker color and one in this lighter color now you can just pin this uh, pattern onto the material and cut around it I like to use double-sided tape again it's something I've shown before so we'll turn this pattern over and on the back I'm just going to stick a few strips of double-sided tape then I'll cut out the pattern and I'll sort of take some of the stick off of the tape so it's not too sticky we can then place that onto the material and cut around it uh, and that's what we will then do with a bit of sewing on but uh, you can do this any way you like I find this quite a good method it just uh, saves too much sort of hassle uh, and for my abilities of sewing I like to do things as simply as I possibly can so there we go stuck that on I'll now cut this out and we can uh, get that stuck onto the material and with my patterns the idea is you cut away the grey line that's on the edge of it so what you want to end up with is just the inner white panel and that's what we will be doing here with the pattern cut out I've uh, removed some of the stickiness on the back just by sticking it onto my jeans a few times I'm now going to put this onto the material and I'll cut around it so as I say I'm going to cut out the uh, light version and also the dark version because I think it would be quite nice to have a few variations of uh, this cape anyway. You may get lucky and find something that matches better, but uh, in this instance I've not been able to, and I think this stuff will look just fine. So I've now got two of the capes cut out, as I say, one in each colour. Now we can start sewing it together. So what you want to do is put the outside surface on the inside, so sort of fold it inside out, and we can then make it look exactly like this one, which is still inside out. So that's the original cape. And you can now see exactly where you've got to sew. So we've got to do a little bit of sewing down the front here, and then we've got to sew around the hood section. So I have uh, some thread that I found in Mrs. Toy Ploy's sewing box, which is a reasonable match. It's a little bit sort of lighter than this one and a bit darker than that one, but I think it will actually do the job quite nicely. I have some of that on a needle, as you can see here, and I'm just going to sort of follow exactly where it's sewn on this original one. And after a few minutes sewing, you can see I've ended up with two pretty good looking capes. These are still inside out, but uh, they do look just the part. I'd noticed actually when I was doing this, I'd made a slight mistake on my pattern. I'd uh, marked where the uh, bits of sewing go uh, wrong. So I'm going to update this pattern. And when you download it from toyploy.com, they will be in the right place. But on uh, this initial uh, prototype version, they are in the wrong place. But I, luckily I spotted that before I got too far. Now, all we need to do is turn these outside in I suppose or inside out whichever way you want to call it so uh, we're going to put these the right way around anyway and you can see that that ends up looking like a very nice cape we'll do the same on the lighter version yeah that's looking good as well everything is sewn in the correct place and then I'll turn the original one inside out as well or outside in again there you go three capes let's put these on the figures and see how they look i'll start with the lighter one yeah that looks good we can do the darker one it's actually going to be quite nice having a bit of variation in these it makes these three figures look all uh, unique rather than all looking exactly the same so and here we have this is the original one i'll put that on yeah i'm pretty pleased with those they look 
as good as the originals really I think there's not much you would spot uh, in difference in those you can see this is the sewn line down the back of the original one and we've got exactly the same on the one that I've just made there yeah I think that does a very good job and here are the three finished figures I think uh, they look a whole lot better now that they've actually got their capes on and it's quite nice that they've got a little bit of variation in the colour of the material so I'm uh, actually quite glad I didn't manage to get the, the perfect match on the colour I think it's nice just to have this little bit of variation obviously you can make these out of whatever fabric you like uh, but uh, this uh, toy knit or sort of a looped fleece is as close to the original as I can find uh, if you want to make these yourself then you can download the pattern for free from toypoloi.com I will amend this to have the uh, stitch marks in the correct place i hope this video has been of interest to you if it has then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time i upload a new video and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy ploy subscribe for more great videos you can also follow toy ploy on twitter facebook and instagram